Thanks. Hello, now it's uh, the 28th of December 2019. Um, we're standing out here in the garden. We've got about a hectare, which is about two acres of land here. Um, just behind us is the piggery. Um, it's St. Patrick's piggery. Um, there's about a hundred small pigs and about 20 large pigs. We just got the pressure washer here, washing it out. It's a um, uh, gas-powered uh, pressure washer. We're washing it out, cleaning it up. We try to do this uh, once a year and get that all out. Uh, we, we have uh, here in the little, in the center here, we have the feeding trough where we mix the grain. We have a lot of the uh, PKC, which is from the palm tree, and then spent grain from the brewery, so all the waste beer product. We put that in here, mix it up, and then we feed it to Here you see is our, our, our best pig. She's got 13 little piglets here. If you can get a look just back there, there's 13 little piglets. And then here we have all the mothers who have just birthed. Uh, we've weaned the little ones off of them. So you can see there's about 10 of them there or so. Um, we're going to breed those in about a month. We fatten them up a little bit first. The male is just here. Yeah, I mean, it's just, or cassava, cassava, rather, it's a, it's a huge field of cassava. There's a couple bamboo poles up there. That was the yam. It's sort of a potato. As the, they're very much the same kind of fruit as potato. There you can see the plantain and the banana trees. If we come close, you can actually see a huge um, group of bananas. I don't know if you've ever seen bananas before, but uh, they actually grow upside down, which I found kind of amazing the first time I saw that. But as you can see there, we get a little close-up of the bananas. We're going to have to put a bamboo pole underneath it in order to keep it from falling because they tend to get so heavy that it just pulls the whole bamboo tree or the uh, uh, banana tree down and, 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 and knocks it down. So we put a bamboo pole under there. As you can see in here, there's a few uh, pepper trees. It's a little bit overgrown with weeds and such. Little garden eggs and pepper trees. What is most gross very well is the popo or what you call papaya. So there we have a few papaya trees. And as you come along here, I'll show you we've got more papaya trees. Another thing that grows really well here is avocados. We've got like 15 avocado trees, and it's, it's just fantastic. They, they are prolific producers. We don't have to water them or spray them. There's a simply natural growth, and it's just really wonderful. As you can see here, we've, take, we've uprooted all the palm trees. So that's a palm tree over there. Now we uprooted them because they were old, first of all, and then as you can see here, the branches on that tree, they need to be cut every like three months, and they're just a pain. They come down and, and destroy everything underneath them and such. Here we have a snail hotel. We used to grow snails in there. We'll get that up and running again uh, soon. As you can see, here's a small uh, avocado tree, and we've got 13 of them. Here we have, um, here's another popo tree here, and then here's our, uh, our burn pile. Now, they didn't used to have this. We just built this recently. That's where we put all the trash and burn it. It's incredible how much trash people produce, but we burn it there. And there's our small fish pond. We start the fish there and then put them in the big pond. It's another small um, avocado tree. Look at the popo tree or papaya there. That's incredible. It grows super well here. And corn. Corn grows like weeds. And that grows all over the place. We have more popo here. Here's our, our swimming pool fish pond. So we swim in it for six months during the summer, and then we have fish in it six months during the rainy season. As you can see now, we're not swimming in it. It's just difficult to get the um, water for it. Um, we have the borehole, that's what they call it here, a well. Um, we've had this for about five years now. Uh, it runs off a generator. We want to put solar panels up there, especially during the dry season. We have full sunshine almost every day. So if we could put uh, solar panels up there and run the borehole, then we could f uh, fill the swimming pool with water and then we could swim for the six months. So that's our ne only one of our projects there is put uh, solar panels in. As you can see, there's coconut trees there. I want to give you a picture of, a, of the coconut flower. Look at the arch there with the bougainvillea. Bougainvillea is a plant here that grows like, like weeds. It's just a beautiful plant. It's a citrus garden. Really, we have um, these huge, big, like, I don't know, they're like grapefruit, but they're not a grapefruit. But anyhow, this different name for. But here, I want to show you this coconut here. This is really fantastic. You climb these steps here. You you see the coconut hanging from the tree. And then you see the coconut. I guess flower, you call it. 
It's just really beautiful. See, and then from the water tank up there, the three water tanks, it comes here into the house tank and feeds the house. If you follow me just around, I'll show you where the people get the water. Now, we supply water to St. Mary's School, which is the Novus Ordo School just in the same compound. We supply water to 500 of their children, to most of our parishioners, and then to several of the villagers. We're the only place in the, in the country that gives free water. So he, as you can imagine, we got people coming from all over the place to get water. So we have people all over the place coming to get jobs, and get water. We have a little room there for guests. That's where we put the guests. When they come from overseas, they got their own showering facilities there. This is our water faucet here. So we got one, you can see we got a filter there. So we give water to the children at the school, to the parishioners, and to many of the people in town. So it's another project we want to work on is that solar panel so that we can have water all the time. It just takes a lot of a lot of generator power and the fuel is very expensive in this country compared to, you know, their salary. Um, so if we have solar panel, we think that'd go a long way in alleviating that that difficulty. The other project we're working on is uh you need to get another vehicle, another truck. Um, and then the solar panel, those are the two big, big items. And then you can see the buildings, many of the buildings, so the, the zinc is really old, so we need to replace the zinc because it's leaking and then put guttering around and then the fascia boards needs to re be replaced. So those are other projects we're working on. But anyhow, it's great talking to you and visiting with you, give you the virtual tour of the, of the parish here in, in Nigeria. Uh, we wish you the best of God's blessings in the new year and a very blessed and Merry Christmas. God bless you.